Okay, so this is a pretty important part of developing your strength and endurance to be able to practice your handstands and get the time in. Now, I know a lot of you probably want to just keep jumping up into your handstand and hopefully get it that way. But I highly recommend doing it this way, either stomach to wall or back to wall, which I'm going to go over, in order to first start out building your strength. And then once you develop doing your walking positions on the wall and also develop your cartwheel, then you can try to start just jumping up into it. It's a safety concern. I want you to be able to practice this a lot, so please pay attention for this one. We're going to try, as a beginner, to build up to one minute of time against the wall. Now that can be with your hands, fingers back to wall, going this way. It can be done that way up to the wall where you hold one minute here. Or it can be stomach to wall where you're holding one minute in this position. Either way, our goal is to have the wall to be there so we can focus on our form and straightening the body out and stacking. And then that way, you can get plenty of time in that position, not have to worry so much about the balancing position. This will help build the structure of your body more, really develop your shoulder strength, get you more time on your hands, and it will just get you more comfortable being upside down. So I really highly recommend working up to one minute of time. That could be six sets of 10 seconds, 10 sets of six seconds, four sets of 15 seconds, Okay, two sets of 30 seconds. But we really want to get that time on the wall. Now, if you're, now how do you decide how many sets you do? Well, if you can keep your body mostly stacked and you don't have a lot of bending going on or it's not an extreme strain, then that's considered a good time for a set. With handstands, form is important. So just consider that once your elbows bend like past this amount, you pretty much should come down from that set. So don't just push to the bitter end, bitter end, bitter end to the bottom of it. It's not going to help you. All right. Instead, I would keep a little bit left in the tank for the next set. So if you're struggling to hit 10 seconds, bump it down to 8 seconds. If you're struggling to hit 15 seconds, drop it down to 10 seconds. All right. Struggling to get 30, drop it down to 25. And really keep it fresh in your mind, and that way it's a lot easier to maintain doing this over and over and over again. As a beginner, I would recommend doing this daily so long as you're not feeling any wrist pain from doing it too much. And if it's easy for you to get one minute of time on the wall, then try to do two sets of one minute. Maybe three sets of one minute. So this is a very important part in developing your strength. Just keep that in mind. 